Hi there, welcome to Nippy Invest. I wasn't planning on doing a video for Lark Distillery, an update video in regards to the December quarter Penix 4C. I did a video for their September quarter and I thought I'd just leave it a few quarters before I do an update video. However, on the 16th of February, the share price of Lark Distillery fell 20%. And I took an opportunity and I took a position in this company on the back of the share price falling. Now, I do have some rules or guidelines in regards to when a share price drops by this sort of amount, or 30%, 40% on the back of some negative news. I want to be patient and I want to refrain myself from doing that because I have done this in the past and a lot of times when you see the share price drop by a significant amount, you'll see the sentiment in that company shift, particularly if it's on the back of some negative news, a trading update or a profit downgrade. Those are sort of times when you never want to buy into a company when the share price drops 20%. But this is a little bit different. This is a sort of situation where I think the market is completely overreacting. So the question is, why did the share price drop 20%? And does that make Lark Distillery much better value right now? I think the answer is yes to that. And that's why I took a position. So before we have a look at the December quarter results, why did the share price of Lark Distillery fall 20%? And why did I take a position in this company? About three or four months ago, I did a little bit of research on whiskey distilleries in Australia, particularly in Tasmania, because there has been a shift in the way these distilleries are viewed around the world. In fact, they're being viewed much more favorably than they used to be. So I did a bit of research on Lark Distilling and a few other companies that are now on the ASX. But the, sh the share price has increased a fair bit over the last few years with this company, and the valuation might have been a little bit too stretched. And then recently, we had seen the share price a retreat from about $5.20, I think it was $5.40. In fact, when I did the previous video in September, share price had been pulling back, had moved into a short to medium downtrend. So I was following this company a little bit more closely just to see how low the share price could fall. And then all of a sudden, I did see this news pop up on the 16th of February that the CEO, Jeff Bainbridge, had suddenly resigned for some reason. And it took a little bit of research, not a lot. All I had to do was Google Jeff Bainbridge to find out why he had resigned. And as soon as I saw the reasons behind, behind his resignation and I saw the share price had dropped over 20%, I thought this had become a really interesting buy possibility. I did a little bit more research. I remained patient through the day. And during the end of trading on 16th of February, I took a position in this company at $3.65 or something like that. So why did Jeff Bainbridge resign and why isn't this bad news for the company? So let's look at the reasons why he resigned. All you had to do was just Google Jeff Bainbridge and all these news articles popped up in regards to his resign resignation. And it became fairly obvious why he resigned. All you had to do was look at some of the titles of these news articles. For instance, in the Sydney Morning Herald, the ice pipe and extortion threat behind Bainbridge res resignation. Lark Distilling CEO Jeff Bainbridge quits over shock video. Now, I didn't read through these uh, articles and the reasons why he resigned uh, fully, but it seems like uh, there was a video of uh, Jeff Bainbridge smoking some ice. Um, and this video was made about five years ago, something like that. It was after he left uh, Grilled. Jeff Bainbridge was a co-founder of Grilled. And whoever took the video of him smoking some ice tried to get money from Jeff Bainbridge, and they succeeded. I think it was something like $9,000 they got from uh, Bainbridge. And then eventually, I think Bainbridge said, enough's enough. I'm not going to pay you any more money. And that's why these videos of him smoking ice popped up. Now, this was a long time ago, and it really hasn't affected the way he's managed uh, um, large distilling, because uh, if it had then we would have known about it. And if it had really affected how he you know, managed a lot of stealing, the share price probably would have popped up on the back of this news. But again, the market doesn't like uncertainty. They don't like the fact that there is no current CEO. There might be an acting CEO, but there's no current CEO of Lark Distilling. And they don't know who's going to be the next CEO of the company. The market loves certainty, and this just increases the uncertainty. And that's why the share price dropped 20%. But in my opinion, the market completely overreacted to this news story. 20% um, drop in share price in one day on the back of this was a complete overreaction. And when I do see that sort of overreaction, 
from a news item or news release from the company that's not really significant in the long run. That's when you might be able to take a position in a company that you do like for the long term. The sort of news flow from the company that I will never take a position in when I see the share price drop 20, 30 or 40% is a profit downgrade or a trading update. But this is the sort of news flow that will be forgotten by the market in a few days. And that's when you take a position in a company. I am doing this, this video a few a few minutes after trading has begun. It wouldn't surprise me to see the share price of Lacta Silly open up quite a bit uh, on the 17th of February. So we'll have a look at the share price action uh, later in this video. Lark Distillery, of course, is a whiskey distillery company. They've just recently made an acquisition. So this company is growing. And I think the way to value these sort of companies is through the cash flow and also the whiskey they have in stock. I'm not sure how you call it, but um, they have it in the barrels. And that's growing quite substantially for Lark Distillery over the last few years. We'll have a look at some of those numbers later in the video. Video. This company was founded in 1992, listed in 2003 via Montex, so it hasn't been Lark Distillery for too long, maybe a few years. We don't know the CEO. That's a question mark right now. And that's the reason why the share price dropped 20%. There's a little bit of uncertainty. Market doesn't like uncertainty. Uh, shareholders currently, Quality Life, 9.3%. They seem to, Quality Life seems to have quite a few holdings in these sort of companies and perennial 7.3%. The market gap at uh, the end of closing on the 16th of February, and the share price at that point was $3.60, is only $270 million. It was significantly higher when I did the previous video. I think share price then was $5.40. So the market gap at that point in time was probably over $400 million. And the ticket code for Lark Distillery is LRK. Before we have a look at the most recent Appendix 4C, let's go, go back one year ago to the December quarter financial year 2021, the receipts and customers 4.2 million. The company was almost operational cash flow positive, only negative by 154,000. They did receive almost $200,000 in government grants and tax incentives, but even if you take that away, they were not that operational cash flow negative. They also had $12 billion of cash on hand. Now, when it comes to receipts from customers, I expect receipts for customers to be growing at a consistent rate in this company. So from quarter to quarter, I expect receipts to grow. And this company has lots of barrels of whiskey in stock. And once they start selling that whiskey uh, more and more, we're gonna see that receipts from customers grow. Now I'm not a whiskey S expert, but I'll probably suggest that the longer they can keep whiskey in their barrels, the better off they are, because they'll be able to sell that whiskey at higher prices because it's all about aging the whiskey in the barrels. As soon as they put it into the bottles, the aging stops. That's how it works for whiskey, if I remember correctly doing my research three months ago. And in fact, receipts for customers have grown over the past year, increasing by $2 million. Unfortunately, some of the costs involved in the business have grown a little bit more than the receipts. For instance, product manufacturing and operating costs grew 3.8 million, staff costs up 400,000, administration costs up 800,000. They also do a major uh, credit raising for an acquisition. So they raised $57.9 million. So the end cash was 56.2 million. But I think a lot of that go, will go to that acquisition they made. And because the uh, spending in this company did grow at a much quicker rate than receipts, the company was operational cash flow negative in this particular quarter by $3.8 million. One of the most important things or ways to value a company like Last Distillery is to look at the value of whiskey they have in all the barrels. And up the top here is from the 31st of December 2020, and on the bottom there is the 31st of December 2021. And the estimated net sales value at maturation date in at the end of December 2020 was 113.6 million. That has grown to 290 million. 2 million. Even the liquidation value right now has more than doubled from last year and is sitting at $121.6 million. So if they sold all their whiskey right now, that's the amount they would get. So the rest of the value of the company is right now uh, valued at $150 million. So the main thing to look at when you're talking about Lark Distillery and some of the other like companies is just to look 
at the value of whiskey they have in stock or in their barrels. Now that net sales value of the whiskey does not include the acquisition they made of Ponfield. And if we include the acquisition they made, the net sales value at the 30th of June 2022, so this is an estimated value, will stand at 435.4 million. So I mentioned in well earlier in the video that I do expect receipts to grow quite consistently through time. And we definitely see that with the receipts history for Lark Distillery going back to December quarter 2017. So that's about uh, three years ago. And receipts have consistently grown. You get the odd occasion where receipts does pull back. We saw that in March 2021, where receipts fell from 4.2 to 4.9 million, and then they kept on growing. So I expect receipts to keep on growing through the future with this company. Now to the daily chart for Lark Distillery, and this goes back to November 2020. And there's one year period between November 2020 and November 2021 where we saw significant share price appreciation with this company. In fact, share price rose from $1.40 to a high of $5.40, which was reached in October and November of last year. So that's a nice increase in share price over a one year period. During that time, in July, I think it was July 6, they released an investor presentation in regards to liters or net sales value of liters under maturation. And because of that investor presentation, share price increased 31% in the one day, and the share price kept on increasing after that. But recently, particularly after they reached the most recent top, which was in the middle of November, share price has been under pressure, has been falling. So it's gone from that high of $5.60 to a current share price of $3.60. And that includes the 20% down day we did see on the 16th of February. So you might say right now, technically, looks like the share market in this company has shifted to negative. Looks like the share price is in a downtrend. But if you are taking the long view of this company, $3.60 does look good value because that's sort of the share price we did see during that 31% up day back in July last year. If share price fell to like $3.20, I'll probably, probably add to my position uh, just because I am long-term bull around this company and I might even start to trade this company, particularly if the share price keeps on falling. So at this point in time, I've taken a long-term position in Lark Distillery simply because the share price dropped 20%. I think the market has overreacted and it wouldn't surprise me to see share price pop up um, in the next few trading days, including today, the 17th of February. And indeed, the share price has popped up. I'm uh, recording this video I was going to say a few minutes after opening, but I forgot that I am one hour behind. So it's just over one hour after opening, and the share price of Lark Distillery is currently at three point or three dollars and ninety one cents, up eight point six one percent. This might be a bit of a bounce because of that large down day yesterday. That is always concern when you see a little bit of a share price increase after a big down day. People get excited because of the potential value, and there's a definite possibility when it comes to this company. But I'm banking on the fact that this news, which saw the share price decrease 20%, is short-term news and won't affect the share price of this company in the long term. In fact, I should say short to medium term, and there's a chance we might see share price move up from here. That's all I have for this update video for Lark Distillery, talking about why the share price dropped 20% in one day on February the 16th. We also had a look at the December quarter results. And if you do want uh, any questions, any thoughts or comments about this company, just leave in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.